Well, I'm a part of Take Back the Bronx, and we were formerly known as Occupy the Bronx, but we changed that real quick because Occupy, you know, we recognize that that has a very negative connotation within communities of color. Um, and as individuals who, who were taking part in the activities in the Bronx, you know, we didn't even feel comfortable with that because we recognize the Bronx and other, other communities of color, Harlem, Washington Heights, Brooklyn, you know, we're already occupied. We're occupied by police, we're occupied by uh, gentrifiers, we're occupied by landlords that don't give a shit about us, we're occupied by corporations that don't give anything back to our communities that just take, take, take. So why are we gonna say occupy? We're not occupying, we're taking back. So that's where the name Take Back the Bronx came from. West Harlem is very much so a family-oriented community. And so if we were not presenting ourselves in a way that was very results oriented, we sort of lost people. And so what we've been doing as a group has really been focusing on how do we engage those people and how do we engage those families to get them part of the conversation about how do we solve problems in our community. So from there, you know, we started realizing that if we really want the, the hood to be there, if we really want the community to be there, we need to do more base building work, right? We need to, to be talking to people. We need to be uh, build community with people because it's never going to happen unless we do that. So I guess for us, in my opinion, we really stopped being activist-based and more organizer-based, right? Because Occupy Wall Street, OWS, you know, you're sitting down there in Zuccotti Park, great, but you're not building in a community, so you're not organizing. You're being an activist because you're, you know, you bring attention and you do whatever else you do. But if you're working in a community like in the South Bronx or in any part of the Bronx, you need to build. You need to be be organizing with people. You need to people need to know who you are. You need to know who people are. You need to build those connections. So realizing that, we we started doing more base building stuff, which was going out into communities and door knocking and talking to people and, you know, asking people, you know, what are the issues that that you guys want to focus on? What are the issues that that we can come together on as a community? Um, and overwhelmingly, you know, the response has been police violence in addition to other things like a lot of housing issues. I feel like it's fairly safe to say this on behalf of other people that participate in the West Harlem 99% group, um, but we were a group of people who had been thinking of the things that the Occupy Wall Street movement was doing sort of in our own minds and having conversations with our own friends uh, and our own family. Um, you know, the official Occupy Wall Street movement is what ignited us to say, well, let's just take it from philosophies that we have and that we discuss with our friends and family and actually turn it into something. That concept of the 99%, I get it. I get that it's supposed to be like a unifying thing, and that's great because unity, you know, is important. But let's be real. Everybody in the 99% is not the same, okay? Because my mom is in the 99%, and so is her boss's boss's boss, and they're not the same.